Hi there, I'm Ruth Rhodes, a soil scientist from Sastry, and I'd like to share some information with you about leaf sampling. Because fertiliser application is such an expensive process, it's important that growers monitor the efficiency of their fertiliser program. Applying too little fertiliser can decrease your crop yields, while applying too much is not only costly, but it can decrease your cane quality. Leaf sampling should be standard practice in return cane management. It can give you an idea of how well your nutrients have been taken up, whether you've applied those nutrients as fertiliser, compost or manure, and also whether those nutrients are in a good balance in the crop. Leaf sampling also gives you an idea of, of the nutritional status of your crop and whether there are any nutrients that are deficient and which might be limiting your sugarcane growth. If you've sampled early enough in the season and you've detected a nutrient deficiency, you can apply corrective doses of fertiliser to top up, or otherwise if you've sampled later in the season, you can correct your fertiliser programme for the following year. In order for the lab to be able to give reliable results, it's important that a specific process is followed when taking a leaf sample. Before you start taking the sample though, there are certain considerations that need to be kept in mind before sampling. The crop must have been growing vigorously during the three weeks before taking the leaf samples. Second, there should be no moisture stress prior to sampling. The crop must have received enough well-distributed rainfall or irrigation. At least four weeks should have elapsed since the last fertiliser top dressing. And sampling must take place at the correct age of the cane as well as at the right time of the year. And this varies from region to region. Once these considerations have been satisfied, you can then proceed to take your leaf sample as follows. Firstly, you should select stalks of average height, but don't select a stalk that is too young. Let's use this stalk as an example. I'm just going to insert this board behind it so that you can see it clearly. You should sample the third leaf from the top, and we start counting from the first leaf that's at least halfway unrolled. In this example, you can see that the spindle leaf is not quite halfway unrolled. Can't see the midrib yet, so I won't count from this one. I'll start counting from the one next to it. So this is first, second, and third. So this third leaf is the one that I would sample. Let's move on to the next one. In this example, you can see that the spindle is more than halfway unrolled. You can see the midrib there. So we'll start counting this as the first leaf. So this is one, the one next to it is two, and the next alternative one is number three, and this is the one that we sample. Collect about 40 such leaves from various spots throughout the field. Work in a zigzag pattern from one side of the field to the other. Remember, if your field consists of areas of poor growth and good growth, you should sample these two areas separately, even if they have been fertilised the same. By now you should have collected your 40 samples. Take a manageable handful and cut off the bottom. And the top. so that you're left with about 30 centimetres from the central part of the leaf. Next, take your leaf and either using a knife or just by tearing, strip out the midrib. So pull off the one blade, pull off the other, and you throw away the midrib and keep the leaf blade.
Once you've stripped all the midribs out of your leaf samples and discarded the midribs, bundle the leaf blades together and tie them together with the leaf sample label attached. Make sure that you fill in all the details on your leaf sample label. You also need to fill in your leaf sample submission form, which needs to accompany all of your leaf samples to the lab. Be careful not to contaminate your leaf sample with anything such as fertilizer. For example, don't transport your leaf samples in an old fertilizer bag or in the back of a vehicle where fertilizer might have spilled. Send your leaf sample to the Fertilizer Advisory Service at SASRI. SASRI have developed a set of recommendations which can help you to correct any imbalances which you might have found in your leaf sample. Contact your extension specialist for help with this. When used in combination with soil sampling, leaf sampling is a vital means of assessing your nutritional status. Leaf sampling is particularly important when assessing your nitrogen levels because at present there is no reliable soil nitrogen test. Leaf sampling is not a costly process but it can help you use your expensive fertilizer more efficiently.